How's it going YouTube? Joe Totino here. Hope you're doing well. Wanted to bring you a quick little tutorial today about how to create that tape stop effect. Tape stop effect is a super popular technique in modern day music production where we are recreating the nature of a tape machine, either slowing down or speeding up, thus making the pitch drop or rise. So we can do this on a number of different types of instruments. I created a little sequence in Pro Tools right here, but I'm also going to show you how to do this technique in both Logic and Ableton. Let's jump into Pro Tools first. So here we are in Pro Tools. I just loaded in a simple, simple beat here. Uh, I've got an Omnisphere Bell, which is just part of the stock Omnisphere sound set. And the patch is called Ambient Cathedral Drops. It's from the Bells and Vibes category, uh, and it sounds like this. Just a really simple melody in D minor. On top of that, I added some basic drum elements. Nothing too crazy. And then an 808 just to round out the low end. So altogether we have this. Not the most amazing piece of music in the world, but it'll work for our purposes. So I wanna add this effect on this bell patch here, uh, and I probably wanna do it right at the last beat of bar five here as it transitions into bar six. I wanna drop down the pitch so it goes boo, something like that. Boo. And it's a nice transition into the next part of the phrase. Also just makes loops and um, maybe things that are a bit too repetitive, it can make them kind of interesting. So first thing we need to do in Pro Tools to create this effect is take something like this that is MIDI and convert it into an audio file so that we can use certain plugins uh, that we wouldn't be able to implement on a MIDI track like this. So in Pro Tools, easiest way to do it is just right click on the track itself and hit commit. Great, and Pro Tools has rendered out an audio file that should sound exactly the same as it did when it was in MIDI form. Cool, so the next thing we wanna do is cut out the part that we want affected. We actually wanna break it away from the rest of the region here. And in Pro Tools, there's really two ways you can do that. Uh, we would just find that little section, which I know is gonna be right here. And we can either do Command E on our keyboards or the B key, as long as we have keyboard focus mode on here. So Command E and Command E, and we're just gonna cut this little phrase out of the rest of the region so it's its own little clip so that we can just affect this and we don't have to worry about affecting anything else that we don't want affected. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is click on that region, make sure it's highlighted, and then go up to Audio Suite and find a stock Pro Tools plugin called Verify. And Verify is one of the easiest plugins to use. There's really two settings in here that changes the characteristic of this effect, but either way, it's kind of emulating that tape machine like we mentioned earlier. So we can either have the sound slow down or lower in pitch or speed up and rise in pitch. In this case, I'm gonna go with slow down and I'm gonna hit render and we get this, which is that effect. Now, if I were to do the opposite, if I were to have sped up the sound, it'll sound like this, which could be a cool effect to add to the beginning of phrases or again, if you're trying to create some smoother transitions, in this case, the slowdown effect is what we're going for. And in the mix, it sounds like this. Kind of an interesting way to spice up loops. Okay, so here we are in Logic. I just exported the audio files from Pro Tools and imported them into a new Logic session. So I'm gonna show you how to create this same effect using some of Logic's built-in tools. In this case, we're actually gonna use Logic's Fade tool. And because this Omnisphere bell patch is already in audio format, we don't have to worry about reconverting it. So in this case, the same process, we are gonna find the part of the audio that we wanna affect and we are going to cut it into its own clip. So it's the same idea here. I wanna create that tape stop effect on the last beat of bar five going into bar six. So I'm gonna first use Logic's marquee tool to cut it out into its own clip. The next thing I can do is use Logic's fade tool to draw in what would normally be a volume fade, which you can hear there, 
But instead of automating volume, if I right click on the fade, I get the option to slow it down. And this is gonna create a very similar effect to what we just created in Pro Tools. I even have the ability in Logic to then change the shape of the fade, which will also affect how quickly the sound either drops in pitch or raises in pitch, depending if I'm doing a fade in or a fade out. So maybe at the beginning of the clip, I can also draw in a fade. But now instead of having the track fade in volume wise, I can again right click and now have the track speed up. And it creates that type of effect as well. Last but not least, we are here in Ableton Live and we're gonna create that same effect again using some of the built-in Ableton tools. So similarly to Logic and Pro Tools, we do have to cut out in Ableton the section that we wanna affect, which in this case is gonna be the exact same part. And in Ableton, it's Command E, which is similar to Pro Tools to actually make a cut in your audio file and have this its own isolated clip. And now what we wanna do is double click on the clip and we're gonna use some of the functions within Ableton's audio editor to create that effect. Now, if you are warping your tracks, you'll wanna make sure to create this effect that instead of working in beats mode, that we are actually having Ableton analyze the audio in complex. I found that we get really weird results if we are not in complex mode to create this same effect. Okay, so with this little audio file selected, you can kind of see it's right here. I'm gonna press this little E button down here, which shows and hides my envelopes, which is gonna allow me to automate certain parameters. In this case, we are by default set to automate volume, but instead we actually wanna select transposition modulation, which is gonna help modulate the transposition, which in this case is the pitch, so we can actually make, the, make this track fall in pitch over time. So in this case, I wanna draw in a point at the beginning and a point at the end of my clip, and we wanna pitch the sound down, so I'm going to set this down minus 24 semitones, which would have it pitched down two octaves, and we get this. The same type of effect. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, I'm gonna be creating way more of these videos in the near future, so let me know what you'd like to see. Otherwise, I hope you have a great weekend.